Her cuticle layers are extremely abraded and porous. Her hair is damaged. She's been doing her own no lie relaxer at home and overlapping the application. I've transformed her hair in one appointment. I use Bond Builders, Demi Permanent Hair Color, and Nourishing Lipid Serum. I used water and heat to temporarily change the texture of her hair. I used the twist out technique for a wavy curly finish. Let's look inside the hair to see what's happening with the bonds. Now, I'm gonna let you know exactly what these hydrogen bonds are. Who knew there were so many cuticle layers? I didn't know there are so many cuticle layers, but we're here to talk about the uh, hydrogen bonds. And the hydrogen bonds, they're temporary. They're there to allow us to manipulate the hair shape. So uh, water or heat will change and break the hydrogen bonds. So what we're doing with any shampoo set, whether it's roller set, uh, magnetic roller set, perm rod roller set, flexi rod roller set, twist out, braid out, what the process is, is breaking the hydrogen bonds and resetting them into the new style shape. I started this hair transformation with a Demi Permanent Hair Color. She's up to 80% gray, and I added Bond Builders to the Demi Permanent Hair Color formula. The Demi Permanent Hair Color is going to affect the white hairs differently than the pigmented hairs, and it's going to appear as though her hair has baby lights, as though it's highlighted. Porous hair is a damaged cuticle layer. Healthy cuticle layers are compact and flat and smooth. Damaged hair is porous. The cuticle layers are open. That leaves the hair dry and the cortex exposed. I'm twisting her hair with the Joyco cuticle sealer. Now traditionally you apply this after a color and you rinse it out. But in her case, I'm going to twist it into her hair and dry her under an ionic hood dryer. No foam, no mousse, no gel, no silicone. By drying this cuticle sealer into her hair, it will provide us with extra acidity to keep those cuticle layers compacted and closed without adding any weight to the hair. Babies are born with non-porous hair. Now, porosity comes with us um, manipulating the hair strands, either it's with tools or chemicals or constantly brushing and combing. And the older we are, the more abraded those hair strands are. But there are many things we can do to heal and seal the cuticle layers. And this twist out is one of the uh, greatest techniques to heal abraded, extremely porous hair. The problem with porosity is it causes the hair to look frizzy and it distorts the, the natural curl pattern. Also, because the cuticle layers are open, they absorb all the moisture in the air, causing the hair to frizz, once again, distorting the natural curl pattern. My goal here is to reinforce and bring back her natural curl pattern. That's why I chose the twist out instead of braids. Now braids will cause the hair to have short, sharp angles, whereas the twist out will give the hair soft natural waves. Now I want to remind you, this is where we started. Now you can see how her hair is fuzzy, frizzy, extremely porous, because she overlapped the no lie relaxer application every time she applied it. What we're doing here is we're healing that porosity. We're filling it in with bond builders. We're using um, this Brazilian Bond Builder 3. You can add it to all hair color services, semi, demi, bleach, permanent. I add it to the final formula of all my demis and toners. I wrap the ends of the hair on large perm rods. I don't use end papers. End papers slow down the drying process and they absorb the product that I want to stay on the hair. I dried her under an ionic hood dryer for a full hour. You want to make sure the hair is completely dry because what we're doing here is we're resetting the hair's hydrogen bonds into a new style shape. And if you don't dry the hair thoroughly, the shape won't set and you will lose the curl pattern. No matter what the end product is, when you use water and heat to change the shape of the hair strand, what you're doing is you're resetting the hydrogen bonds. You're resetting the hair into a new style shape and you need to let that whole process 
finish. So the hair has to be absolutely dry. If it's not dry, no matter what the end product is, if you're doing a silk press, a blowout, a twist out, if the hair doesn't dry thoroughly, it's going to frizz as soon as any moisture in the air hits it. By contrast, if the hair is completely dry and reset, what happens when moisture hits it, it immediately reverts back to the state it was dried in. I'm going to say that one more time. If the hair is dried thoroughly, when moisture hits it, it's going to revert to the state that it was dried in. That's the twist out, the, the blow out, the soap press. Look how fantastic her hair is. To maintain it, she's going to sleep in a bonnet and she's going to use our nourishing lipid serum to uh, finger comb her hair throughout the week. And if at any time, if she sleeps funny and it kind of uh, stretches out, all she has to do is retwist it and it will, it will reset into the state it was dried in. Look at that, those coils. Look how silky and shiny her hair is. Remember, this is what she looked at. Looked like when she came in, it was super porous, super damaged. The cuticle layer was abraded. It would not hold the curl. It was full of gray hair. And this is the end. We have transformed her hair texture with a little heat, a little water, and some acidic hair products. Our curl pattern is determined by the size and shape of the hair follicle and the arrangement of the disulfide bonds. A damaged cuticle layer, a porous cuticle layer, will distort our natural curl pattern and make it seem as though it's not even there. But we know it's there, it's permanent. Our curl pattern is always there. What we have to do is heal, nourish, and seal the cuticle layer so our natural curl pattern will be revealed.